Today's show is sponsored by Simon Cowell's Owl Towels. <laughs> <laughs> Made with real owls. <laughs> This is the technical difficulties we're playing Citation Needed. I have an almost randomly selected article from everybody's favourite reliable source of knowledge, Wikipedia, and these folks can't see it. Every fact they get right is a point and a ding, and a special prize for particularly good answers, which is... Mystery Biscuits! Oh my. And today we are talking about the Arctic Winter Games. Ho 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 ho! What the hell was that? <laughs> That's one of the events. Yeah. Best yeah. chuckle well, in a gonna, cold environment. It's probably going to be pretty parky out, so I'd imagine you, your you outdoor need, events would be pretty quick, really. You need mm. a hearty chuckle to warm you up. You would, a hearty belly chuckle. Who's he? He's the, the chuckle <laughs> brother. <laughs> You're right, though. It is, it is very cold. Do you know where it's being hosted this year? In uh, fact, the Arctic. The Arctic. <laughs> You made this Twice mistake. in as many shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not in the Arctic this year. Well, that's um, a lot of Is it in the Antarctic? No. Oh. Are we talking it's not in the Arctic, but on some kind of techn- technicality that the it's nearest place? It's just below the Arctic. Yeah, oh, ah, right. Is, it, is that the old name for the Winter Olympics, and is it in Sochi? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, no, not shout, at all. Good, good shout. Shout. Bad. These are entirely different games. What could be so different that you can't do? I imagine this is crazy stuff like hollowing out your own canoe. Uh, well, well, we'll get to games in a minute. Mm, all First, right, I mean, okay. where well, is it? Tromso, Alaska. Greenland. Fairbanks, Alaska. Point ah. to you. Okay. Uh, and you asked who was going to be involved in this. Well, the catch here is it's not for the world. It's for... Inuit and other indigenous pe- peoples point only. Point, it's for all the cultures around the Arctic. Uh, uh, can someone tell me any of the, the contingents rather than countries that are coming from all around the world? So the people that lived in Greenland and Yeah, Greenland Canada. is a contingent, yep, point. Northern uh, Canada? Uh, Northwest Territories, yep, another point. Finland, Lapland? Uh, the Sami people, which is yes. the mm, general Finland. area up there, yep. Yes. The Yukons coming up from Canada, the Yamalo Nenets from Russia. That is a lovely cool. word. It lovely. is, it's, uh, well, it's, it's, it's like I'm saying, oh yes, the, the Wiltshire. Yamalo Nenets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know them. Didn't they own most of Cheshire? Uh, this is the this from the Yamalo Nenets Autonomous Okrug. Oh, oh, you can't have Yamalo Nenets and then tip I, it off with Okrug. I think I've got an Okrug in my hall. <laughs> <laughs> so, we may as well get to this then. What kind of events are being played at the Arctic Winter Games? Uh, there aren't. So, I mean, there's the obvious ones. Yes, there's there's alpine skiing and there's figure skating and there's ice hockey and there's the games to do with that. What are the what are the ones I, you wouldn't so find? Is it in the speed Olympics? snow structure building out of um, snow bricks? Ooh. Speed glue. Um, it's a good idea, but no. I did to rod dog sled racing. Yes, dog mushing. Uh, um, s- snow s- snowmobile racing. Oh, oh, now that'd be lovely. There is no kind of mechanically assisted ones mm. in here. There's biathlon, which, you know, you have a gun mm. to mechanically assist. Is there a it? Flintstone-style snowmobile? <laughs> 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 That's called alpine skiing, and I'm giving you a point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That snowmobile racing would look brilliant. Well, it's X Games, they do it, don't they? Winter yeah. X Games? Yeah. There oh. are a couple you wouldn't expect in here, which are very much more... Elementary in- rocketry. Indoor sport. <laughs> Squash. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yes. Badminton. Point. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> off. I say elementary rocketry, not right. He says badminton. Yep. At least that's a sport. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's, that's Are you true, telling me rocketry true. is not a sport? It's well, not it in the be. X Games yet. Well, it should. I don't be. know if they have like a double X Games for the or oh, a triple X. Triple X. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, that now that exists. I would pay to see. <laughs> you probably have you probably to. Probably would pay. have yes. to. Yes. <laughs> in fact, I'm fairly certain. Should any of our viewers Google that, you will in fact be able to pay to see that. Now, there's one here which you're never going to get the name of, which is called Dean Games. D E N E. I may be pronouncing that wrong. It may be Dene. And there is no reference to this anywhere on Wikipedia. So before we start, I went out. I had a look at what these are. And these are traditional forms of competition of the northern cultures. Okay. Do you want to guess what they are? Because they are interesting, to say the least. Are they sports? They are... Is this where you end up with like weird things like toe wrestling and... Oh, you know, you're pretty damn close. Mm, yeah. It's that kind of thing. Thumb wars, that kind of thing. So I'm going, to give you the t- I'm going to give you the names, if you can tell me kind of what this involves. All right. Stick pull. Is that oh, where you... Two tra- guys holding a greased stick, isn't it, and... Something it's, like that, pulling against each other. It's not greased, but yes, it's, the, it's yeah. the one who ends up with the stick wins. Yeah, cause... Or the one who drags the other person's hand past them. Yeah, because oh, right, I've, I've okay, seen that. Yeah. I think they do that sort of up on one of the northern Scottish Isles as well. Oh, right. Because that culture feeds in from Nordic and yes, things will, as well. Yeah, so I think yeah. I've seen that on 
How about finger pull? <laughs> pull my finger. <laughs> well, you could, I mean, you know what? Point. Um, is it who pulls the finger and farts loudest? Seriously, no, tell it's, me. No, it's oh, not. come on. Is it like a game of peanuts? Have you each got hold of like the other person's one finger and yep, um, first one to scream out loses us? It's something? not first one to scream out. I'm giving you the point. It's the first one to... St- well, you ha- they take turns defensive and offensive. It's the first person <laughs> to straighten the other person's finger. Oh! And according to the, to the thing I'm looking at, they have buckets of ice water on hand. Like, there is a, there is a judge who's making sure you're not doing jerking motions that will dislocate something. But other than that... It's a smooth sort of... Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds quite painful, actually. It, it almost... It, well, right. I'll, I'll, I'll have to Everybody, try. it's right, live sure finger pull. Okay. Hang on, we need to commentate. Uh, hold on. Right, let me I see. I can't even see because of... I, think I wrap my finger around like that. Tom okay. Scott uh, wrapping his... Tom Scott going in for an offensive. Oh. Who's, who's offensive? Who's defensive? I'm offensive. Tom Scott is offensive. We I all knew this anyway. Um, he's yeah. pulling very hard on Matt Gray's That's finger. actually surprisingly difficult. Let's try okay, it right. Yeah, go. Okay, and Matt Gray now offensive. Oh, oh well, that okay. lasted. Matt, Matt is better at this game than I am. <laughs> Quite easy, really. Does anyone want to make a comment about the strength of Matt Gray's right hand? Anyone? <laughs> Not me, at the moment. <laughs> Sit here and be a little bit disappointed in myself. Well, everybody, Matt, we found where you're going next. It's the ice games for you as Britain's representative in the finger pull. <laughs> uh, you Can ne- you imagine you're, you're the country's champion finger puller? <laughs> <laughs> how many how many fates and stuff are you ever going to mm. open? Pull my finger. <laughs> oh, that's a sponsorship if ever there was one. <laughs> um, pole push. Is it do you push you a pole? Push a pole. You do, but I'm going to need to need more than that. We've got two teams trying to hold it up or something. I'm going to give you the point there, Gary. Oh, wow. It's okay, basically right. reverse tug of war. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You're trying to drive the other team. You're trying to drive past. the other team past a back marker I like rather than a centre marker. Of people who play these games going to see a, a tug of war contest and yelling that you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wrong way, you fools! <laughs> uh, there are two more in, in this category. One is hand games. <laughs> and this is the simplest damn thing, and I can play it right now if there is uh, something around here. Here we go. I can. We can literally play hand games right now. Tom's opened his wallet. Bloody hell. <laughs> Which hand? Right hand. Left. Therefore, one of us wins. Matt Gray wins. Point. Seriously? <laughs> that, is, that is the hand games. And there are all sorts of regulations on what you can and cannot do as a distraction. <laughs> like have a live fish in your hand yeah. when you open it. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> I want to see that in a stadium of 80,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> all, all I'm seeing is a slightly more interesting version of watching Darren Brown. Oh, <laughs> he'd be banned outright, wouldn't he? The <laughs> wizard, the sorcerer. You don't, you don't one hand no coin, not the other kind, a coin that then disappears and reappears in the other. <laughs> Magician. The last one is the wonderfully titled Snow Snake. <laughs> right. That's not a cock joke, Gary. No, I think you'll find oh, it well, is. <laughs> Please tell me it's a spitting cobra covered in snow. No. Crawl as far as you can in the snow on your belly. You're not crawling yourself. No, you I'm not. I'm sat in a chair. <laughs> you might. Drag someone through the snow and make it look like they're crawling. No, you're definitely... You're getting an object to move through the snow. A snake. No. A rock. Stick? Cocktail stick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you have stick. Spear. All oh, right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh... So you've got Do you glide it along the ground? So an un- underhand spear slide sort of thing. And a point for underhand. Ah. Exactly right. It, that is snow snake. Well, it could be like over Long curling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thunk. That's spearing. Oh, no. <laughs> you have an icy surface and you see how far you can send your spear. Cool. There is another set of games. So you have the Arctic Winter Games, you have the Winter Olympics, and then you also have the World Eskimo Indian Olympics, W-E-I-O, which is held in July or August. Uh-huh. Uh, which is games uh, rooted in ancestral hunting and survival techniques. Does anyone want to take a guess on a couple of the uh, the events that are... Laugh at Bear Grylls. <laughs> <laughs> Real life canoe battleship. Wait, what? F3. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lobber rock. <laughs> Just a big tarpaulin hung over the middle of a little, I don't know, a little rock, ice pool or something and wrong, bunging rocks over the side, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, there is right. No, not, not even close. Um, there is a game called Drop the Bomb. Is that where you go in someone's front yard? <laughs> <laughs> 
Because on ice, you would need the grip and everything to be able to get away with that, wouldn't you? Not leaving footprints and stuff that can be traced. Uh, drop the bomb. No, it's, it's um, a person kind of lying face down, arms outstretched as a cross. Right. Uh, three spotters position them. Participant tightens all their muscles, muscles. The spotters lift the body and have to carry them as far as possible before their arms sag and they can't hold themselves in that position anymore. Huh. We are trying this. I think we did that as now. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we also have the ear pull. So we want to take a guess. How Wait, uh, that, that's is it? Something a bit like, like that. that. It is, isn't it? Point. <laughs> <laughs> not not strict. There are two people sitting down facing each other with twine looped around oh, each other's Oh, yeah, I've seen ears. this one oh, as well, oh, actually. Yes, I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, and you, you pull away like that. Yeah. yeah, I've seen this one on the telly as well. How's, that, how's it work, then? So, and it's just a loop of string that hooks round the back of your ears, and you just pull away. Yeah, and it says here, backwards. it is stamina to pain. Yeah. yeah. That, ah. is, that is all it is. It's, it's an endurance competition rather than speed or agility. You see, and they all laughed when you got that dodgy Sky subscription to the uh, Indigenous People Satellite know, Network. I don't know how I've seen all these things, but <laughs> several of them I've seen, yeah. You just, at one point, have you got a lost week or something? I, more than one. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> are the photographs going to turn up of you competing in the games? <laughs> I don't remember any of this. He has got all these medals, though. <laughs> he's from the South. He is known as Joel of the Sun. <laughs> Put this on late at night, around about half eleven post Just after the pubs. Have- <laughs> we would all enjoy watching men trying to pull each other's ears off. See, yeah. that's what they could do on BBC Three. Yeah, just tour wrestling and gut barging and stuff like that as well. Give it a proper cheese rolling once a year. And- I don't get that. What cheese rolling? Well. It's, it's just running downhill, isn't it? It just well, it's downhill. It's, <laughs> with it's a cheese so that can ra- kill you, <laughs> ragdolling down a hill. With a cheese that actually. can kill you, I would, as long as there's like already dubbed on boring for it actually hits <laughs> the floor. I've got up too much cheese can kill you going around my head. <laughs> <laughs> too much cheese can kill you if you can't make up your mind. <laughs> Torn between the Edam and the good you left behind. Yes! <laughs> You're heading for disaster because you didn't see the rhyme. Oh! Yes. <laughs> Too much cheese will kill you every, every time. time. <laughs> you note. know, I keep doing this, but Gary, congratulations, <laughs> you win the show. Uh, you have won the freedom of the city. Oh. oh, no, sorry, you've won the freedom of the city, so oh. do enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Until sir. then, that's been Matt Gray. Bye bye. That's been Gary Brennan. That's been Chris Joel. I've been Tom Scott, and we'll see you next time. That was our season finale. Thanks for watching. If you've liked the series, then do let us know, or better yet, point your friends our way. We should be back sometime in early autumn with another run of shows, but until then, there are more than 30 audio episodes of our reverse trivia podcast at techdiff.co.uk. See you soon.